Okay. Uh, this is hard to watch. Again, if you're by a computer and you're watching the show as we stream it at MikeOnline.com, you might want to see it. Gives you an idea of the optics, but you can hear it just fine if you're in the car, just listening on the radio, which we appreciate very much. You can hear the way the Galveston Police Department responded to a 65-year-old woman who, when they arrived, was standing in the lobby, maskless, leading to a complete meltdown, evidently, by the people around her, although... I think it's worth noting she wasn't within six feet of anybody. Nonetheless, here is how this went down. Ma'am, I'll say if, if that's you leave, you have to leave. My money is in this bank, and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide by the I rules, that, and you have to have a mask on. Is, this is a state? It's not. Exactly. Businesses have the right to refuse service, even if you're not wearing that's a mask. That's their choice. My money out. Awesome. Well, you need to go and get a mask and then take your money out. You're not allowed to do... Ma'am, listen, minutes. we're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. What are you going to do, arrest me? Yes, for intruding on premises. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, and you believe in this? I believe in it. Do you believe in this? The laws, yes. The law says that I do not have to wear a mask. You can, not in public, my but you're not in public. You're not in my, public. Yes. This I'm not going to argue with you about place. this. This is not a public okay. place. I'm this is a private time. business. No, you're business. not. We're going to go outside. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? Well, I don't know. Because let's let's walk, go walk outside. You've got some issues. I've got issues. That you're taking away okay. people's human rights. Okay. Ooh, so let's go outside. Now he's, is let's he go outside. Shoot me, people. Is no. Going to shoot me for trying not to breathe. Cool. Come, cool. On, Come on, dude. Don't. Re oh, don't do that. Oh no. Do not touch me. Who do you think you are? Point ten. One oh, Back up. Back up. Some old lady is getting handcuffed here. Ma'am, put you your hands behind you your back. Gonna... Say, it. you don't stop resisting. Are you, stop. Are you gonna? Is anybody gonna like get real here? Really? Relax. No one's gonna get real. Wow. Come on. Oh, you smash my head with down now. Now you're smashing my arm into my private area. Your private area? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. My hand is behind my back, sir. This one. Turn over and on your I... stomach. Put your hand behind your back. Relax. I'm totally relaxed. No, you are not relaxed. Please not relaxed at all. Right here, people. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, what about your sheep? Okay, I hope someone's filming this. You're hurting me. Oh, I'm filming it. This is like cutting. Yeah, this okay. Like Stand up. Stand up. Stand yourself up. And how do you suggest, sir? I am like a 65-year-old woman here. Okay. Sit up. What are up. you doing? Stand up. I need to make love cover up. Stand up. I need to right. make That's love enough. cover up. You, you, you get the idea. It's hard to watch. It's difficult. You know, uh, let me just, before I get your reaction to this, let me, uh, let me first say I am a huge believer, and with all of my heart, that you do what a police officer tells you to do. The fact that that police officer is put in this position, to me, is preposterous. Now, again, you do what a police officer tells you to do, and you that she wouldn't have been brought to the ground. I mean, she should have complied. But on the other hand, we're living now in a time where that happens. I, I see people on a pretty regular basis in businesses where there's a big sign plastered on the front door, you must wear a mask and they don't have a mask on. And I often wonder, well, okay, any, what happens? And thankfully nothing really, you know, people avoid them probably, nobody confronts them because you know, if a manager confronts them, you know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a confrontation. There's gonna be a conflict. That person is probably daring you to say something to them. And all of it is just awful. And I, when I mentioned this case to my friend Mark Davis, Mark, I just said, it just seems wrong. It's wrong that this, what's wrong? She should have done it. She had no right to do that to the police. The po And I'm not criticizing the police. They're, they're called to this business 
The business has a right to say, we want the lady to have a mask on, she won't put a mask on. Now they're winding up throwing a 65-year-old, or wrestling a 65-year-old woman to the ground. She claims, incidentally, that she was injured during the arrest, that her foot was broken, she was walking around on crutches afterward, giving interviews. It just all, what if she had been vaccinated? Would that have mattered? I mean, you know, now I feel kind of, a new me. I've got my Johnson and Johnson vaccine in me. So far, an eyeball hasn't popped out of my forehead, and I'm not hearing voices. But I can't exhibit any different behavior. What would I do? Wave around my vaccine card? They wouldn't care. All right, let's get your reaction to all of it here in the relieffactor.com studios. Let's get as many calls on here as we can. We're gonna we're gonna do this in rapid fire succession because I'm really interested in your reaction to the the video of this 65 year old woman in Galveston, Texas, Texas being arrested. Mike, we'll start with you. How you doing, Mike? Great. How you doing? Good. What's your reaction? Uh, my re- my reaction is that officer should be suspended. And there should be class action lawsuits around the nation for anybody pushing this false narrative. All right, let's see what others say. Come on, let's. I want to get a bunch of reactions. He didn't like what the officer did. He thinks it's a false narrative to have to wear a mask in a business. Mary, you're up. Hi, Mary. I th- I shame on her that you can't do a simple thing that a police officer asks you, and they put their lives on line every day for us, and they had to put up with such foolishness on this. Shame on her, and she doesn't deserve a dime. Thank- All right, thanks, Mary. Joe, one open line, 800-655-MIKE. Here's Joe. Joe, what did you think? Hey, Mike, thanks for having Hi. me on, first of all. You bet. Number, Thank you. Number two, there's, there's a couple variables here that you have to really look at. Um, I have a degree in biology, and number one, I agree with you where if a police officer asks you to do something, he's put in a tough position that he shouldn't be put in, number one. Number two, people really need to start worrying about their rights because you've got these people that are going to sit there and and complain about stuff that's been around us for, like, ever. And you're not going to get rid of viruses. You're not going to get rid of of bacteria, protozoa, anything like that. You're going to have to live with it all your life. A hundred percent, a hundred percent true about, and Joe, that's to me the most important point of all of this. We better be aware of rights being eroded left and right. Democrat lawmakers are happy to take away fundamental rights. Now, I get that we're in a health crisis. I get that there's a pandemic. I get that we got to get this country back, but we better be keep our eyes wide open on how many rights we're willing to give up all under the pretext of ending coronavirus. To hear the left speak, we're never ending coronavirus. To hear Fauci speak, it never goes away. We're going to be doing this forever. And I believe Americans reject that wholeheartedly. 